Hello Aries, getting ready to do your reading. This is for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, messages for Aries Universe. Mm. Wow, 666. Okay, <clears throat> changes, more balance. Um, some of you, hmm. Six may be important. Today's the fifth. Tomorrow's actually Friday the sixth for September. It's almost like somebody is buying a ticket to travel or go somewhere. Someone from your past could be coming to see you, or you're going to see someone. What's on your mind is the Three of Cups, Four of Swords. So, like being excited, kind of like anticipation. Uh, could be meeting someone, or you're going to be meeting. Like uh, you might already be in a relationship, but that could be, uh, yeah, it's like you're going to be meeting someone or meet running into someone or something that's going to knock your socks off. That's going to be exciting. It does have to do with love. So maybe traveling to see this person to a sort of, okay, someone is really missing you. You may get a surprise visit. Uh-oh, maybe not. Maybe that's not a good thing. <clears throat> we have Virgo involved. Okay, what is the Four of Swords? Listening to your intuition. And wow, Ace of Wands, the world. Okay, what is the Three of Coins? Careful, because someone, there's a, there's a third party here. I think that's what they're trying to warn you about with somebody. Star, Nine of Swords. Because what I'm getting is, okay, somebody else in this situation is out in the cold, but not with you. I think they're already married or something. There's this meeting chance meeting with the ace of wands ace of cups this is like wow like this is meeting a soulmate this is knocking your socks off i mean this is like the one but i think they're married now you might be also but you're excited to meet this person i feel like someone is making a plan to go visit them without telling them though um I feel like when you guys meet up there's going to be a lot of arguing here at the five of wands it's like you or them one of you wants to see the other person. Um, you're tired of being alone. Now this could be them, they could be missing you. They may be thinking, you know, I miss my Aries. Where did they go? I'm, all, I'm lonely. Is it over? Is it really over between Aries and I? So they might come and show up and meet and see you. If you are married, be careful because this person is going to show up. It's gonna cause some drama, especially if you ghosted them. If they ghosted you, if it's, the roles are reversed, um, they may not be married though. If the rules are reversed and you're gonna go visit them, there's the three of coins here. I'm not too worried about the three of coins. They may be dating someone, but I don't get they're married necessarily, but there is hope here that it's gonna work out, but then there's fear that with the nine of swords that it's not. Let me see what's going on with this person. Because this is like a really strong connection you had with them, and you had a really good time, three of cups, but now, you're not hearing from them, you're wondering where they're at, or they're wondering about you. Now, this particular reading is showing them missing you, okay? This is their energy down here. They are thinking, oh no, is it over? It looks like you met them, maybe you're already married, had a great time, and Four Swords is kind of like hermit energy to me in an everyday reading. It's like somebody's not making the effort, <clears throat> excuse me. They're not thinking about it, they're not doing something about it. You may be thinking about them or daydreaming about them, Maybe you know they're the one, like they felt like there was a really strong connection, but it looks like maybe you don't want to pursue this person or they don't want to pursue it, but they're going to show up is kind of what I'm seeing here. Are they going to, yeah, because it looks like one of you is ghosting the other. And so someone's going to show up and say, hey, why, why'd you do that? So let me go around one more time and see. Okay, carrying a heavy load. I don't know if this is you or them. Okay, see, whoever this person is up here, it's all about fun and games. It's about three of cups partying, sleeping it off, nine of coin, going about their business, excuse me, just doing their thing and not really caring the nine of coins. So, <clears throat> ace of wands back, here we go here. Page of swords, let me do a couple more because that's like about, <clears throat> excuse me. See, I'm thinking somebody said, this is a new beginning. Let's stay together. Let's be together. Let's start something new. There's a very strong connection. Uh, obviously, it could be an air sign. It could be an Aquarius. But maybe you're spying on them. They're spying on you. 
But like somebody promised a new beginning and but they didn't follow through or you didn't follow through or something's going on here. Okay, let me go down here to their energy. Yeah, there's, can you see this one person right here is like, I don't want to be out in the cold. This can't be over. I'm going to communicate. Someone's carrying this relationship around like, you know, a big burden with the Ten of Wands. See, even under the deck is the Ace of Swords. I want to start this again. I don't want to let this go. This could be a Leo, but this person is persistent. Okay, so maybe you haven't met this person. If you haven't met this person, there's going to be a very strong connection. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups. So careful if you're already in a, a relationship that you don't want to mess up. I am seeing the Three of Cups. There could be a hookup, but then maybe you, you're like, I just want to go on my way. I'm good. This other person's not going to feel the same way. They don't want to let you go, okay? Or vice versa. If you really feel a strong connection with this person, and you're like, this is wonderful. And they tell you, oh yeah, let's, we'll be together. Okay, there's, there, we have all sixes here. So I feel like that's really important. The 6th of September, which you guys will probably be all viewing this afterwards because today is the 5th. 6th of September is tomorrow, Friday. It'll be the 6th of October around that time. That it's a Sunday. So that may have something to do some of you are taking some type of trip to see a family member for a family get together a wedding it's almost what i'm seeing here you might meet this person and like at the reception or at a nightclub or something like that let me do the outcome again please yeah nine of cups ten of coins ace of swords judgment let me do one more make sure you can see that and the what is this justice okay libra possibly all right well this actually maybe the reason that somebody's being persistent is that there's possibly there is something here nine of cups can be wish fulfilled but like i say this can be like about drinking eating dating going out having a good time ten of coins can be long-term stability ace of swords a new beginning and then so what somebody's saying is let's do this justice so almost like this possibly could work out, which I didn't really see that coming. But yeah. What is the full energy? Yeah, I can see back here it's being blocked. I want to make sure. Here it's being blocked. Here, okay, they just said, this person, one of you has a partner, another one didn't know. Once that's out in the open, a lot of things can be cleared up. Okay, one more with the justice card. Oh, so yeah, see, because see, somebody didn't say they were hiding the details. All right, so it almost seems like this reading is saying that it is, it's good to be persistent if it's you to go see what this person is doing. This person is hiding something from you, but it's not something that can't be fixed or managed. Five of Cups, they do regret. Um, See, what's interesting with the Five of Cups is see the Three Cups? These are them here to me. This is having fun, partying, whatever this is, enjoying life, the date, but here they're all broken. This person left and took off, or you did, ghosted, and there was something that they didn't tell you. They obviously, they lied. Now, I don't think they did it on purpose. I don't have Seven of Swords. Um, I don't have some cards that would tell me that they're just a total asshole. It was like there was something they didn't want to reveal to you. So maybe, I mean, it could be, yes, they ha they're in a relationship already. That's obvious. Or that maybe they don't have as much money as they led you to believe they did. Or something like that. It's almost like they were embarrassed or ashamed by something. <clears throat> Excuse me. But it almost appears like there is possibility here of something moving forward. Because again, Nine of Cups, Ten of Coins, Ace of Swords. Let's start this again. Let's see where this takes us. Let's work together because three of coins can be the working together card. So you might not feel initially the nine of swords is going to work out or maybe they don't nine of swords. You're kind of worried about this, but yeah, it looks like you guys are going to try anyways. Um, again, the moon tells me it could be a Pisces, but it's also telling me there's just a lot of details, things behind the scenes. There, are the, there may be other things going on with this person. They may have some type of addiction. I'm also getting like pain, pain addiction, medication or something for somebody. Um, they're, it's something like that. Maybe somebody, they're like injured or they have something 
maybe very unexpected, but yet something that you're like, well, you know what, that's not that big of a deal. We can handle it, we can work through it. It's something they didn't want to tell you about. Hmm, sorry, I moved. And there, I think there's a fire station around the corner. All right. Now, if this is your, if you're the one who met this person, you're like, you know what, we just, you know, had a great time, but I wasn't planning to be with this person forever. They're going to come after you. They're going to come find you. I'm just going to tell you now. If the tables are turned, if it's vice versa, um, they might be, might be a little bit worried because with moon, five of cups, if you feel like there's no reason for them to be this, um, what's the good word this person has long-term plans with you let me also say that ten of coins ace of swords they are not wanting to give up on this relationship easily they are going to track you down and find you so and i don't think it's meant to be that's not scary or anything it's just that don't leave them on because this person really is taking what you're saying the, how the two of you are feeling the connection you have they're taking it very seriously and they do want more they want to continue this so it kind of looks like it's showing the reading is showing you're kind of like blase like oh yeah it's not that big of a deal. This person took it as a big deal. And so they are going to come find you and um, tell you that you broke their cups. You broke their heart. And I don't know if you broke their heart. I'm three of swords here. But you understand what I'm saying. They definitely do not want to let you go that easily. They, they want to. I'm getting for somebody because I got the ten of wands. But after the six of swords, almost like they're moving stuff. They're already taking stuff to be closer to you. So... There's a very, very strong connection here that you're going to experience. <clears throat> and again, it might be with specifically a Pisces, Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio. So we have Virgo. Virgo is the other one, yeah. So heads up about this person. I'm going to leave it there. Yeah, I don't, I'm not getting anything else coming through. I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Have a great week and take care.